up everyone, it's Alicia Chu and welcome back to the Alicia Review. Today I'm going to be diving into Megan, a movie that has been recommended to me from the moment it came out and I am so angry at myself for holding off on actually watching this film. I have so many people telling me that this is either a film you adore or you cannot stand. And I like to think I can trust the majority of the people who are close to me in my life. And so many said, you have to check this out. It's right up your alley. Please dive into it. So that I did. So let's stop rambling about the anticipation and start blabbing about what made this film fantastic. An insanely intelligent roboticist named Gemma takes in her niece Katie after Katie's parents pass away in a horrific accident. She can see how sad Katie is after everything that happened, how she doesn't have many friends, how everything with the new living arrangements simply aren't really going according to plan. There's a lot of adjustment. So what does Gemma decide to do? She goes back to one of her favorite prototypes, an AI named Megan, and reboots her for Katie. And Megan isn't just your average robot. This is a piece of artificial intelligence that goes above and beyond anything I could have ever imagined. And the way that this movie depicts it from how she looks like a real life child, how she speaks like one, how she could pick up on emotion, tones, everything in between. It's brilliant and so creepy. We find out early on that Megan's main programming objective is to not only uplift Katie, but also keep her safe. So you can imagine the lines that get crossed there. So as I go from discussing the plot into the actual reasons I thought this film was excellent, I have to start off with the colors. This was like a Technicolor Willy Wonka acid trip, and I was all about it. The way that they were able to mess with the saturations, the contrast, throw in those tones of the really intense bright purples and the super crazy greens, it really did make you feel like the file you were watching, the movie file itself was corrupt, and that in itself is just a stroke of genius that I've never seen anything like before. Another reason this film really connected with me is because yes, it is about that fear of artificial intelligence going above and beyond our control and our wildest thoughts, but at the same time, it was just the way that Megan would walk through a parking lot or a kitchen or a living room and lights would malfunction, cars would go off, sirens would be ringing, and I thought that was such a cheeky interplay to connect the artificial intelligence that is Megan to everyday life, just stirring shit up constantly. Also, shout out to that wittiness going through the entire film, not only with the epic ending that they delivered, because I hate shitty endings and they gave us a great one, but also with some of the silliness, like the kombucha callbacks, the way that she's like, oh, let me just reboot my phone so the app can reload. Like the little things with technology we go through in everyday life, meanwhile, they have this supreme AI right beside them. Just really smart. Now you might be wondering, where does the story turn? Where do we go from Megan just helping Katie through life to being a sinister killing robot? Well, let me tell you, it happens and it is great. I think my favorite scene throughout this whole film is when Katie is getting bullied by a total piece of shit human being and then Megan takes things into her own hands and that's all I'm going to tell you because you need to watch the scene and I hope it terrifies little asshole bullies all over the world. <laughs> Also though, the Megan fight scene is up there for me. Like what a piece de resistance, the way that was choreographed, so much fun, so camp, but at the same time, absolutely petrifying. She's like Chucky on steroids. There were a lot of unique aspects that went into this film that made it so gripping and different from other movies out there. I left this movie feeling so many different things. I was elated that a film was able to screw with my mind so heavily when it came to the future and prospects of technology. And then at the same time, like I had mentioned earlier, I'd never seen a movie that decided to mess around with color and saturation and contrast so much before. And I I was just entranced by it. So between that and everything else I mentioned previously, I wouldn't change a thing about this movie and I am so so psyched that they're going to be doing a sequel in the future. I can't wait to see where they take that and what other mayhem Megan will get up to. So in the end I have to give Megan a 5 out of 5. I don't know if I'm going back and just watching all of the incredible films I have missed over time or if lately these fucking directors and producers are just stepping their shit up because these films have been fantastic and I've never watched so many great films back to back. And you know what I'm talking about, like with the old boys and the mists and films I'm actually hyped to walk away from and not disappointed with. That's it for today's The Alicia Review. Let me know in the comments what you also thought of this film if you've seen it. And if I've enticed you to watch it yourself, come right back to this video and let me know what you thought. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I have to go host one of the biggest interviews of my career. so. I can't wait for that. I will be back soon with more reviews and until then, much love. Bye.